Hello and welcome, I'm John RMS, otherwise known as Ace Bullion, and today I'm going to be featuring a new coin that was sent in by the Silver Trader. Um, now, full disclaimer, I have already purchased this coin from the Silver Trader well in advance, so that's going to give you a small indication onto my feelings behind it. Although, I'm not going to let that be biased or prejudiced to what I believe is either good or bad, and I'll go through all those details with you. So check out the link down below. You can find the link to the Precious Metal Forum, the Silver Trader, and also my website, acebullion.co.uk, uh, where you can buy some of my hand-poured silver. And without further ado, and without going into any major details, we're just going to go here, so no screen break. <clears throat> now, here we have, well, a rather unique and interesting uh, coin that's been brought to you by Bullmint, um, and well, yeah, it's interesting. So it is a 2021, it has a denomination here of five dollars, and it has Queen Elizabeth the second uh, on the front of the coin here, and on the bottom, Tokaloa. So this is rather interesting, rather bizarre, rather just strange background. Um. I'm not going to say I like it or dislike it. It is something that is interesting. It's unique. It's different. And it's quirky, really. Um, but I didn't buy it for this reason at all, no. Um, I bought it because of the image that's on the other side. And as I'm probably you know sure that you could already guess because you've read the description, you know what this is. And it's a bull and bear. Um, now, I've been doing a lot with the bull and bear collections and... Yep, I do like them. Now, this coin, as I said, is not kind of for the faint-hearted. It's not going to make storms. It's not going to get you a huge amount of money back. Um, they've minted over, well, they've minted 100,000 of these coins. So it kind of just puts it out there as, well, a really cool coin that if you like it, you buy it. And that's it. And, well, that's kind of where I've fallen in. So it's not really an investment coin. Um, and it's not something that you're going to be able to turn around and, you know, flip and make <clears throat> a ton of money for. In fact, I doubt you'll, you'll probably just get your money back out of all honesty. So we have a reeded and, uh, or milled, uh, edge here and it is very, very cool. It's in a really weird capsule. This has like a, a lip that folds down and into it, kind of like a U. So if you can imagine, I can see that there. So there we go, and here we are. Now, as I said, I am trying something out different here. Uh, my studio is started, well, has started being built. So hopefully you're gonna notice a change in quality on the video, and hopefully you're gonna see things that will, will stand out a little bit better. Um, hopefully not with the very blinding light. And uh, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are, by the way. As a regular viewer, I'd love to hear them. And of course, I'd love to know um, what you think of the changes. So there we go. So we have the bull uh, off on the left and we have the bear on the right. Now, <clears throat> traditionally, uh, this is for pretty much the stock market. We're talking about you know the market being bull and market being, uh, being bearish. Um, and you're looking whether or not stocks are moving in one direction or another. And that's pretty much how it is. Um, as a investor or collector, and some people say, hey, bullion's not an investment. And, you know, I have an argument for them anyway. But moving on, uh, whether it is or isn't, um, of course, well, it's designed here on this coin. So we're going we're gonna to have a look here and see. Now we have one ounce, uh, four nines fine silver. And I'll get to that in a second there. And then of course we have a rather unique design. It almost looks like a well-known pores symbol. I'm not gonna say who, um, but he is a good friend of mine, but there we go. So here's the bowl. And honestly, it is insane. It is crazy, you know, just crazy and detailed. Um, you have everything with him standing out. And then, of course, you got the bear. Look at this. Just what you would expect from a big grizzly bear. Look at those claws and just how insane they really, really are. Um, now, the bull and bear are direct opposite when it comes to the stock market and everything else. But 
As you guys also know, I am a huge collector into like the Yin Yang series and so on and so forth. So this design is super awesome, uh, in my opinion. But, you know, again, I'd like to know what yours is. So that's, I'm still working on that light there. It is the one light I cannot seem to uh, work out. Sorry about that. So this is, as I said, the Bull and Bear design by the Bull Mint Mint. Put this down quickly and I'll show you why. Well, I've always been a big fan, as you can see here. I got the Bull on one side. This is another coin of mine. It's in my collection. It's in my perma stock. I just love it. And then we flip it over. No queen, nothing. We got the bear. So <laughs> this has been in my collection for a long time. Um, or a while, at least. And then... Of course, we come on to a, um, a 2020 coin, and I have the bull and bear on this side, as you would expect, on the four nines fine silver, $1, and there we go. We have the bull and bear. Now, you can see here why I'm really attracted to it. This is, well, it's not as good quality. I mean, the bear is just meh, but the bull is absolutely just, well stunning it's it, it kind of looked a bit more of an ox when i bought it at the time but because i do like my yin yang as i mentioned and i like the bull and bear design features of course i had to pick that up and now you can understand why this appeals to myself why i decided to purchase this coin and it was on the you know pure value that look at the details compared to something like that which is lovely and all However, just look. Now, <clears throat> as I said, the mintage is one thing, 100,000. But if you are like me, you like kind of the yin-yang uh, principles and theories. Or, of course, well, you're just a collector or investor secretly. Let's, let's be honest here. Although I'm not going to you know, put that as a shame or secret. Then, of course, I think this will appeal to you. Um, but... Please let me know down in uh, the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are and what you think of this new lighting setup. Uh, I shall try to actually see the difference. If I actually hit on one of the other main lights here, you're going to you probably notice some little difference here. There we go. So that's the main light there. And this is what I've been pretty much dealing with alongside of, of course, my new lights. And I'm not quite sure how I feel. Uh, perhaps both in, tan in tandem or not. I'm, I'm generally not sure. Uh, but let me know what you thought. You know your thoughts are. Please leave a comment. I hope everyone has a great Friday. Have a you, know, you guys have a great weekend as well. Uh, I look forward to showing you guys some really cool new coins on Monday. And with that being said, have a fantastic weekend, everyone, and be safe. Uh, I'll see you guys on the Precious Metal Forum as always. So with. Lots of love. Bye for now.